Face shields are no longer mandatory in areas under alert levels 1, 2, and 3, but some establishments are reportedly still requiring its use. Let's clarify this with NTF spokesman Restituto Padilla. Good afternoon, spokes. Spokes, there's been conflicting statements from officials on the matter of face shields. To clarify, are establishments in any areas, alert level 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, allowed to decide on whether or not to require face shields? Sean? Yeah, good, up, good, up, good afternoon, Sean. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Okay, uh, a face shield has been issued out mm -hmm. for areas under alert levels 1 up to 3. Mm -hmm. It shall be optional. For alert level 4, it shall be at the discretion of the LGU or the private establishment in the area depending on the number of cases. And uh, for alert level 5, it will become mandatory again. Right. Sir, what about uh, if we talk about establishments that are under areas 1, 2, and 3? Example, here in Metro Manila, we, where we are under alert level 2, if I have an establishment and I decide that I want my patrons or my customers to wear face shields, can I the establishment require this or will this become unlawful well yes they can mm -hmm. because there's a caveat that was included in the issue ones that areas that still have three c's in their environment may require the use of face shields in order to keep people safe and the three c's stand for confined uh, right hello hi hi spokes can you still hear me uh, yes i can yeah all right. Can what you hear me? Are, yes, I can hear you. It's, it was a little bit choppy. So there is a caveat. So any establishment, any private establishment can still require face shield use regardless of what alert level status they are in. Is, is, did I get that right? Uh, yes. Uh, for as long as uh, the three Cs exist, and this means the area exhibits close contacts, it's crowded, it's confined, uh, and the risk of passing the virus is high. Yes, they can keep their clients safe by allowing them or compelling them to use face shields. Right. Oh, sir, what then happens in public transportation? It was pretty clear that face shields are not mandatory for commuters, but given that you said that if the three Cs are present, we should still wear face shields, I am going to assume that public transportation, especially in the last couple of weeks, uh, or just here even in Metro Manila, they have been quite crowded. So will right. you know the, the operators of these uh, public utility vehicles uh, will they also have the discretion to require face shield use among commuters? Well, they can, mm -hmm. but uh, some of the transportation companies have been requested to provide for adequate ventilation by opening some of their windows mm -hmm. so that the ventilation requirement happens. All right, so for other areas that have reliable filtration system, like aircraft, and other establishments that employ a level of filtration in the environment that is better than normal, then they can uh, dispel with the use of uh, face shields. Right, so a lot of discretion is to be employed with this new policy. And uh, would you say then, Spokes, that to err on the side of caution, should we all just bring face shields in our bags or in our cars, even if we are in an area under alert level 1, 2, or 3? Yes, I would recommend that we still carry it along with us so that if we enter into areas that exhibit the three characteristics that we mentioned, we can still use it. And as you mentioned, it is better to err on the side of caution for everybody.
All right. One other clarification, Spokes. Um, you know, certain cities in the country have already done away with the mandatory use of face shields. This was even before the issuance of the guidelines. I'm, of course, referring uh, bluntly to Davao City and Iloilo City, both of which have made the use of face shields just optional, even weeks before the president announced it very late Monday night. Um, will local chief executives have the discretion also to, you know, mandate the use of face shields as, you know, the case permits or as the case calls for? Uh, sorry, I didn't get the question. You, you, you were responding. Right. Uh, let me ask again. Uh, certain uh, cities in the country, we have Davao City and Iloilo City, they've already done away with the mandatory face shield use even before the announcement of the president that there would be no need for face shields under alert level 1, 2, or 3, which just okay. happened Monday night. So um, having said that and taking uh, or going with that precedent, will local chief executives, meaning mayors, Will they be allowed to make the call on whether or not to require face shields in their localities? Uh, yes, um, most LGUs maintain a certain degree of autonomy, and they, knowing the situation on the ground better than the national government, may, at their discretion, uh, still require the use of additional protective uh, equipment in order to keep everybody safe. Right, but they do not have the power to remove that use. Am I getting this correct? Come again. The local chief executives have the power to reinstate the use of face shields, but do they also have the discretion to remove the mandatory use of face shields? Yes, they uh, The uh, degree of autonomy of the based on the situation that they have on the ground, since they are assumedly knowledgeable of what's happening on, in their end better than the national, may initiate certain steps or certain provisions that they may make mandatory or uh, optional, depending on the situation on their areas. All right, thank you so much for taking the time to clear out these issues for us. NTF spokesperson Restituto Padilla on the line. Thank you so much, sir.